That was one of the longest, most historic bull runs in history. The stock market, it took a plunge last week, leaving many people wondering where do we go from here? What do we do? Omaha's retirement strategist, Daryl Bryant, joins us this morning to talk about the ramifications of this. Daryl is one of the area's leading financial advisors. He hosts a weekly retirement radio show in Omaha that airs Saturday mornings on 1110 KFAB, and he helps folks in Omaha plan for their retirement. He's back on the blend. Daryl Bryant, good to see you, Daryl. Good to see you guys. Good to be here. Yeah, thanks, thanks for happening. coming. So what do you think is going to happen here with these wall, the Wall Street uh, kind of instability right now? What's going to happen? You, you, was it, was it a, a fluke last week? Well, first of all, talk about unstable. Ten minutes ago, the Dow was off 100. Now we're up 25. Wow. So, so we're down. We're Swinging, yeah. yeah. We had CPI report came out today, uh, consumer price index, in other words, an inflation, cost of goods and services, mm -hmm. up a half a point. Was it a fluke last week? No, it was a response to uh, an inflationary fear, right? Yeah. So if the Fed decides that, that, we're, that it's seeing uh, inflation, which we are, mm -hmm. it's going to raise rates to tighten the money supply, yeah. right? And that's going to drive stocks mm -hmm. down. So you and I are going to try to beat each other to the punch. Mm -hmm. But a 10% correction is... Uh, going to happen every, one, every once every year or so. 20% mm -hmm. um, correction maybe every three years or so. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, right. I don't think that we're about to be driven into the dirt. Uh, we've had a few days of positive growth, and if we can get a couple more out of the deal, that could signal you know, that we're going to begin to move back on track. Yeah. So it's not, not too much to be worried about at this point. Makes sense. That's good to hear. And I've yeah, been hearing the phrase uh, buy and hold being thrown around yeah. a lot this week. What does that mean? And is it good advice? Well, that takes us back. You know, I was thinking about that on the way in today, knowing that you're going to ask me that question. <laughs> yeah. How am I going to explain this? So buy and hold takes us all the way back to, you know, 1930s and 40s and 50s when you bought and hold a stock and you felt like you're a little owner, you know, in mm -hmm. that company. Um, buy and hold can be wonderful as things are moving forward and it can be horrible mm -hmm. when things are heading south. So uh, today there's more of a trend toward uh, some form of uh, automa either automatic rebalancing or some sort of portfolio management that would dictate that you own certain things at certain times. So two different methodologies, buy and hold versus some kind of methodology where we're recalibrating the portfolio mm -hmm. on a regular basis. So what do you think about bonds? I'm hearing you know, people think are saying you know, maybe invest in bonds a little bit. It's a little more stable sure. than just going right into the stock market. Yeah. What do you think about bonds? Uh, well, bonds are the go-to move, right? Uh, everybody thinks that bonds are safe or bonds are not necessarily safe or this would not be an environment where holding bonds, purchasing bonds today would be a great idea. Why? Because if you own a bond and it's paying 3% mm -hmm. and you'd like to sell it, but I can now go out and get a bond <laughs> that's paying 4%, mm -hmm. why would I buy your bond at 4 when I can, or 3 when I can go out and buy a 4? Four? Four, you can yeah. still sell it more than likely, but you'd have to sell it at a discount mm -hmm. because it's not paying as high. Mm -hmm. So if you're running out, if you're running to Safe Harbor in order to, or running to bonds for Safe Harbor, I mm -hmm. should say, then it's, you're just asking for a loss yeah. currently. Makes so uh, safe money is a difficult thing. Treasuries are up, yields are up uh, 2.8, you know, mm -hmm. on the treasury. So that's a good thing. And that's one of the reasons that, uh, that, um, uh, stocks are declining is because people are moving out of the stock market stock, into, yeah. the mm -hmm. into the bond market, now, Darryl, on treasuries. Who are the people that are getting hurt the most when there is stock market volatility? Um, well, anybody that owns stock, uh, f of course. But the thing is, if you need those dollars on the short term and you own stock, which so many people do, you would be probably the, the most hurt because if you're needing to take income and the value of your portfolio declines at the same time, well, you're going to have a really hard time. So I would say if you're if you're looking at your portfolio and you see that and this bothers you, you know, because you're 55 years old or 63 years old or 67 years old, and you don't realize what you own or you're seeing the value decline, then I would say either you don't understand your portfolio, it wasn't ever explained to you properly, or it could be that your advisor has has you in things that maybe you shouldn't be owning, mm -hmm. right, at this stage of the game. And then it becomes all about the separation of funds for time frame, right, mm -hmm. which we've talked about so many times before. Well, what you're talking about is if you're nearing retirement or if you're in retirement, uh, you do want to have some diversity in where you put your money. You, you've got, you've got the, the, red, uh, the red, yellow, and green lights, the baskets. Mm -hmm. yep. um, is you, want to, you want to put some more aggressively and some sure. a little more conservatively. You just want to diversify that if you're nearing retirement. Sure thing. So if you're, if you're uh, Mike, if you're 63 years old, and we can identify that you have – guy has a million dollars laying around, right? Mm -hmm. And you, we can identify mathematically that, you know what, you really only need 300,000 of this, yeah, really, sure. on the short term, in the next six or seven years at the most. Well, doesn't that indicate that $700,000 of this we don't need for a while? Mm -hmm. and, and would you be less 
bothered if you have some volatility on those dollars that you know you don't need for a while anyways and wouldn't you want to take advantage yeah. of the upward movement over time mm -hmm. of the stock market okay so it's all about doing some really really good math and then separating the funds and then properly managing them mm -hmm. moving forward well Daryl and his team provide private portfolio consultations for those who qualify here is the phone number to call it's 402-932-2141 once again that's 402-932-2141 to see if you qualify for a complimentary portfolio consultation. And Daryl, as you get older, the focus needs to shift from growing your money to protecting your money. Uh, that's sure. what you've said time and time again. You got to keep in mind, you must be nearing retirement or already retired to qualify for private portfolio consultations with Daryl and his team. And to learn more, you can also visit dbryantretirementstrategies.com for all the other information. Daryl, good tips today. And we'll yes, talk to you next you. week. Yeah. Good to be here. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Day. Yeah, have a great day. Good to see you.